Hello, everybody, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. Um, my name is Indigo, and I am here to bring you your March 6th through the 13th, 2018 reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody because it is a general reading. So if this isn't fitting your situation, um, go ahead and check out your other signs as those sometimes fit um, what's going on a little better. As always, this is for entertainment purposes only. So let's go ahead and get started. Cancer, what do you got coming up this week? Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. In your foundation. Okay, any other messages for cancer? Okay, those wanted to pop. Okay, that one kept wanting to pop out, but it just wasn't moving. It is out now. Okay, your bottom of the deck card. Spirit is encouraging you guys to move forward, move on, um, yeah, Spirit is saying you're having a hard time moving forward, um, you're, you've put in so much time and hard work and you're getting impatient with this connection, this, um, person that you were either were in a committed relationship or want to be in one with, um, yeah, but Spirit's saying it's time for um, you to move on. For a group of you, you have moved on. Oh, my fingers have purple on the bottom of them. I don't know what that's from. <laughs> Side note there. Okay, so um, your main issue is the lovers. Um, you have a choice. And for me, I am getting from Spirit that this is a choice of whether to stay or go. Because your biggest challenge this week is moving forward. Moving out of this rough patch you have and move to calmer waters. And with your bottom of the deck being uh, the chariot as your advice, um, you're facing something really difficult right now. It's a hard choice. There's something keeping you because you're not letting um, you're not letting it end the way that it needs to. This time in your life, this transition period, this transformation you're going through, you're keeping it. And it's because once you have the two choice cards right here, um, you feel like not everything has been revealed to you, so you're not ready to make a choice and you're not ready to move on. In your foundation, you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, so things did not go your way. And you're very discontent, you're disconnected, you're looking at what you don't have, what you could have, what could have been. <clears throat> So let's get some clarifying cards on here. Spear, why is the Lover's card here for Cancer? The world, yeah. See, you're not letting, this has, you. the choice has to be made to move forward. Um, because you're in a stagnant energy right now, you're not, you know what you have to do, but you're not. And justice, yeah. You're, you're wanting it to be fair and balanced. Um, some of you could be moving towards a divorce and you're trying to stop that from happening because you don't want to leave this relationship. 
um, the Ace of Swords and the Sun. So you will gain clarity to uh, this situation. You are going to get the information you need and the universe is going to help you out. Why is this justice card here? Yeah, you are tired of defending this connection. You're fighting against this divorce. Oh, good. The Wheel of Fortune came in the upright. So in the future, your foundation, it's in the reverse. But in the future, the universe is going to work in your favor and help this um, transformation period. Help, this, help you get through this hard time that you are currently in. Yeah, and it's going to bring you in new love. Could be possible fire sign or water sign, but um, your things are going to come to light that were done in the dark. For one, for two, spirit is reminding you that tomorrow is a new day, and um, yeah, you're they're going to help you come out of this morning, this time of morning, um, the loss of this relationship. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, yeah, so I do see the divorce going through. Um, you will get the children in the um, in the custody uh, if that's something you're going through. It's something with the law, um, but the Queen of Swords tells me that this, this is going to be a breakup. Um, the Queen of Swords is known as the divorced woman, and the Empress is the mother, so the, you will be getting the children if... For those of you going through a child custody case right now, um, the relationship that you're trying to keep from ending is not going to get a new start because there's lack of love there. There's um, emotion. It's gone. Um, you got the King of Swords, cool, like uh, not not cool, but like very cold, very closed off, very logical to ending this. So now you don't know which way to go. <clears throat> That's being clarified by the Hermit. So you need to take the time to rest and um, recover from this relationship because it's really taken a toll on you. Why is it King of Wands? Yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles. So nothing is going to be able to move in um, until you go within and get over this uh, relationship that is coming to an end. And Spirit's saying you're not doing that yet. Yeah, and your ships won't come in until you come until you go within and rest and heal your mind, body, and soul. Yeah, you just have to be patient because you're not going to be healed overnight. Um, it is going to take some time, but now is the time because I do see for a lot of you, um, you have new love coming in. You are going to come out of this um, feeling. You got the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So you're going to come out of this doing just fine. Um, you're going to, after you lay down this burden, after you let this um, pass, and after you heal. Ooh, you're going to have two people that want to be with you. Um, cancer, you're going to have two people that are coming towards you. Ooh, one is toxic, though. Okay. Yeah, Spirit's not telling me which one you're going to pick. But um, overall, now is the time to, to move on. It's time to go within and go on a spiritual level. Um, it's time to heal your... Um, time to heal your heart. This really took a toll on you guys. I can, I can feel your guys' energy. Um, I'm picking up on somebody that it's, it's taken a lot out of you. You're very emotionally drained, but uh, within the next seven to eight weeks, and I know that's a, a very quick time to get over this love um, relationship that was just lost, um, within seven to eight weeks, you are going to have two people coming in, and they are very, either one is a very good choice. They're both vibrating at a high level. They both came in as kings, um, though the fire sign um Cancer seems to be more of your match. The earth sign coming in came in reverse with the devil. So um, could be to toxic um, or have addictions of some sort. Yep, there's your new love. Um, you need to let go of control issues and just let 
this um, let this go through the court system. This is for those of you who are going through a divorce and trying to um, keep it from happening. Uh, yeah, um, do not. Okay, do not trust everything that you are being told right now um, in this court case. Spirit is saying that um, they're trying to make it look like a like it's a better deal for you than what it is. Someone's wearing a false mask, so watch. pay attention to the red flags. Um, this is also for somebody coming in for you guys. Um, I, I, the energy I'm picking up, it is an earth sign. That's Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. <clears throat> but it also, for a different group of you, it is a Capricorn coming in for you. Um, and he's vibrating at a very high level. It is a male energy. So that, in partic that particular message is for a female out there um, because I'm seeing your guys' uh, energies vibrating at, you're just a little bit lower. You need to heal in order for this earth sign to come in. And that's for one, I mean, that's for a specific energy that is so strong right now I'm picking up on. Um, also, your initials are CS. That's all I'm getting, the earth sign coming in. His name starts with a J. I don't know. that Somebody's energy is so freaking strong right now that it's bombarding me. Um, for a different group of you, let go of control issues. Um, allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is within the court, the, the divorce, the um, child custody case, because things are going to work out, whoa, work out in your favor. So, um, so just kind of relax, take a deep breath. Also, stay optimistic 